Greetings and congratulations on being accepted as a student at EC Council University. I would like to thank you for showing up today. Also, I would like to take a moment to thank our enrollment team for all that they do daily and for helping you find your way to EC Council University. Again, my name is Dr. Roxanne Kemp and I am the Dean and Chief Academic Leader for the University. And on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I want to welcome all of you to the EC Council community. I am so excited to welcome you and to embark on this new journey with you. I joined ECU as the ECCU as the Dean earlier this year. And in the short amount of time that I've come to know the EC Council family, I have been made to feel very welcome. So I can also assure you that you will also feel this very same welcome, support, and encouragement that I have experienced. Your new EC Council family, we are passionate about what we do here and it shows in the services that we provide. Um, this year, I relocated to the EC Council University headquarters in Albuquerque, New Mexico from Dallas, Texas. And, and so far I've, I've enjoyed the transition. The, the weather has been quite different, but I have loved the scenery with the mountains and the occasional snow that magically disappears overnight. Now, coming from Texas, you don't see much snow. So I was very excited when I first got here and looked out the window one night as, as I saw that it, it had snow. I said to myself, I cannot wait to go out in the morning. Well, the next day after breakfast and working for a little bit, I decided to walk outside and you guessed it. All the snow had melted. Um, now that the summer is upon us, I now, I'm now getting used to a, a new type of heat that keeps me indoors until the sun goes down. So I'm waiting until later in the evening just to walk so that I can try to stay fit and do all the things that you should do to keep yourself healthy. Now, I know that many of you are, are not in Albuquerque, so you don't know about you know the, the weather here. And some of you may not even be in the United States, but um, through technology, we can virtually connect from anywhere in the world. So just like the traditional on-campus universities, here at ECCU, we also provide the various departments that are available to guide and support you. So over the next um, couple of days, you will hear from our various departments and our department uh, leaders, um, including our registrar and the registrar's office, um, where you will register for classes, and most of you have already registered for classes. Eventually, you will also return to this office so that you can apply for graduation. We also have our student services team, so you'll hear from our student support team, and this is definitely the team that you will want to know. These group of individuals will be the ones to keep you engaged in the in the know in the know how what's going on around the university and help you help you stay on track along your journey. Um, upon start, you will be assigned an academic advisor and they will reach out to you throughout your journey and assist you with most academic processes. You will also be invited to be a part of various groups and clubs. Um, well, one of our most popular groups is the EC Council Hacking Club. And just like it sounds, it's a student managed club and it holds a weekly, they hold a weekly webinar. This will give you an opportunity to connect with your peers. We also have a, a newly formed student research club that already has elected officers who are very supportive. So at, during your, your time, at your time here, while you're here at ECCU, you should network, attend the webinars. You'll get a chance to um, get more hands-on practice with some of the various tools used in the Hacking Club. And you'll also be able to strengthen your research skills if you decide to contribute scholarly. And of course, as your dean, I will also be available to you throughout your journey. You will receive announcements and letters from me regarding your success and additional opportunities for scholarly growth. So as I sit here today welcoming you, I, I can't help but remember when I first was, was sitting in your very first seat, in, in your very same seat, um, all excited about the journey that I would also embark on. And, and then I, I asked myself, uh, what is it that I wish I would have heard or paid closer attention to during my college's orientation? Unlike our orientation today, my orientation was in a room full of others, and I doubt I paid as much attention 
as I should have. But you you actually you have you can actually pay close attention because we're here virtually and all eyes are on me. So I would like to highlight some of the key things that you should know as a new student entering EC Council University. First, know that you made a great decision. You're in the right place at the wrong at the right time. EC Council University was was founded by our parent company, EC Council, a world leader in the cybersecurity landscape. Here at ECCU, we believe that you must not only develop the much needed cybersecurity skills and techniques, but that upon graduation, you should be able to step into leadership and managerial roles in your future places of employment. So in addition to learning the skills needed, we will also prepare you to lead with some of the most coveted certifications in the world of cybersecurity. So you will learn more about these certifications in upcoming sessions. So let me give you just a quick employment stat. Cybersecurity jobs are among the fastest growing career, career areas nationally. The Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts that cybersecurity jobs will grow 31% through 2029. And this is over seven times faster than the national average job growth of 4%. So for those of you not familiar with the Bureau, they're the experts on predicting employability. I actually looked to this guide in my high school years. Um, I won't give up my age, but I can say that my introduction to this guide was decades ago, and they have been pretty accurate. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, next, um, I need to tell you that all of the professors that you will meet as a student are successful professionals working in their prospective industries. Um, this is very important for you. In addition to learning from these professionals, be sure to network, seek mentorship, ask for references, and ask for help with finding opportunities in the real world. Because I'm, I'm telling you, these guys are, are, are not, these guys are not, um, all, all, they're not only talking the talk, they're walking the walk. So take advantage of the services available to you and connect with your peers. In a, a virtual world, it is easy to become siloed, but you are not alone. Make it a priority to make friends and future colleagues. In your first class, you will be asked to introduce yourself. So introduce yourself and respond to others. Build these connections and save their numbers and email addresses. Believe me. You never know when you will need a reference or a recommendation. And, and finally, my, my last uh, piece, last tip for you is own your own education. Read the catalog. Visit the, um, visit the EC Council website. Start looking forward to graduation. Make sure that you yourself understand what is next. What is next? Always be involved and ready for your next great opportunity. Imagine your future and plan accordingly. You never know where you might end up. I'll give you my own personal um, example. As a Texas native, raised in a small country town in Central Texas, I, I never could have imagined that I would one day be leading universities. After graduating high school, I enlisted in the United States Army, which provided me with administrative and training skills that later led me to pursue a career in education. I now feel extremely honored that I will be able to share more than 25 years of experience as a leader in both for-profit and nonprofit organizations. Since beginning a career in organization, I have launched and oversaw the operations of development of hundreds of distance education and on-campus courses, two public schools, two colleges, and numerous degree programs. My education consists of a master's degree in psychology and a doctor of philosophy in technology. I am also a Certified Learning Management Systems LMS Administrator and an Accessibility Specialist. As the, the new Dean of EC Council University, my commitment to you will be to use my experience to build upon the legacy of EC Council and our mission to provide quality distance educational programs, excellence in teaching and research, and direct connections to the cybersecurity industry. So, over the next year, I'm looking forward to providing vision, leadership and overall direction for our curriculum with the rollout of new degree programs and other cyber relevant degrees that will help to launch a successful that will help you to launch a successful cybersecurity career. And perhaps most importantly, 
I will work closely with your professors to create educational experiences and opportunities that will give you the real world advantage that will distinguish you from others working in the cybersecurity industry. Again, as we enter this new partnership, I would like you to remember that we are all here today seeking the very same goal, to become more knowledgeable, more effective, and to become experts in our prospective careers. I am very proud of you. I am proud of you for taking this big step forward. And I am also honored to be among some of the greatest scholars, educators, and future leaders that this world has to offer. Now, as we begin this new journey together, I would like to leave you with three quotes. Beverly Seals, a famous opera singer, once said, there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. So remember this as you're working through your degree programs. Um, there, there may be times when you will get tired of studying and submitting assignments, but stay encouraged and remember that you are making progress with each class you complete. Ultimately, you will make it through and finish what you started. My second quote is by Steve Jobs. Many of you have, have, are probably familiar with Steve Jobs. Um, he was the co-founder of Apple. Steve said, if, if you're working on something that you really care about, you don't have to be pushed. Vision pulls you. This is one of my favorite quotes. I, I remember discussing career opportunities my senior year with my late grandfather. Edward Elliott. Um, grandfather had worked as a high school principal and superintendent and had suggested that I follow in his footsteps. At this time in my life, I, I hated going to school and quickly brushed this career recommendation off, but little did I know that I would eventually feel the pull towards educating others. When I first started teaching, I thought that it would be a temporary job on my way to landing something else. But that very first year, I fell in love with education and how being an effective educator had the ability to positively empower people from all walks of life. And so education became my passion. I really care about education. I care about education. I care about the students. This is what I was born to do. So my advice to you is to remember Steve Jobs' quote and throughout the year, focus on why you were here and then envision yourself finishing and using your newfound skills to change the world. And finally, my all-time favorite quote is by the late Maya Angelou. And she said, you may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Each of you are a testament to this quote. Together we have survived the 2020, we survived 2020 with COVID-19, civil unrest and numerous losses, but we are still here. We made it to 2021. And I have every confidence that we will be even more successful next year. I would like to close by, again, thanking you for choosing EC Council University. All of us at EC Council University are just very happy. We're here to, we're here to serve. And I, I want you to remember that. You have a problem, you reach out to us. Um, and we are, we're looking forward to getting to know you. We're looking forward to seeing you complete what you started. Don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions or need assistance along the way. And I want to thank you again for choosing ECCU. And I want you to have a wonderful time.